This program is brought to you by friends and partners of Shaiju Matthew and Revive Nations. For the presence of God, O oh, ye radically hungry children of God, O oh, ye Jesus lovers in this generation, O oh, ye people of God that don't care about the opinion of the world around you, thus says the Lord, you shall encounter that which you search. I want you to say this after me, my soul shall not stop seeking the one that I love. If that's you, begin to praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him. Have a little one that you desire to see grow in the things of God? Subscribe to Revive Nations Kids on YouTube for an exciting array of programs every week. ReviveNations.tv is now open to live participation to our services. Now, after Jesus was born, in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king. Behold, the word behold means to look, to observe, to watch. Behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews. Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? Where is he? Everybody say, where is he? Where is he? It's a question that begs answer. He is born, but I don't see him. Where is he? I know he's born. Where is he? Nobody told me, but I can feel it. <laughs> where is he? It's not in the news, but I know he is born. Where is he? He is born, but not everybody can sense it. He is born, not everybody can see it. He is born, but it's not in the headlines. But I'm prophesying to somebody. By the spirit of the living God, you may not be seeing it today, you may not be hearing about it today. You may not be tangibly feeling it today. You didn't feel the goosebumps. Your neighbor is saying that she saw something, he saw something. They fell down, they were laughing, they were crying. And you're not feeling any of it. But I promise you, because you are seeking it. Because... You belong to the group of wise people that simply refuse to stop searching for it. By the grace of the living God, I declare to you and your house, you shall encounter that baby in the name of Jesus.
O ye thirsty and hungry for the Lord. O ye desperate for the presence of God. O ye radically hungry children of God. O ye Jesus lovers in this generation. O ye people of God that don't care about the opinions of the of the world around you. Thus says the Lord, you shall encounter that which you search. I want you to say this after me. My soul shall not stop seeking the one that I love. If that's you, begin to praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him. It is he that my soul loveth. This is a question that the church must ask. Where is he that my soul loveth? Where is he, the king of kings? Where is he, the lover of my soul? Where is he, my bridegroom? I want to see him. I want to hear him. I want to touch his face. The wise in my generation are going to ask the question, where is he? Can I read your verse? The angel of the Lord appeared to Gideon and said to him, The Lord is with you, O mighty man of war. And Gideon said to him, Please, my Lord, if the Lord is with us, why then has all this happened to us? You know what Gideon was asking? He's asking, where is he? And where are all his wondrous deeds that our fathers recounted to us, saying, did not the Lord bring us up out of Egypt. My father was talking about a God that brought me out of Egypt. Where is he? My fathers were talking about a God that put that showered manna over my people. Where is he? My fathers were talking about a God that split the Red Sea. This generation must be Begin to ask, where is he? Revival is a response of God for a generation that is knocking on the heaven's door and shouting, the God of my fathers, where are this is not the question of a coward. This is not the question of a fearful. This is a question coming from a mighty man of war. Morozek, I may be in hiding, but I'm still a warrior. I may be in secret, but I'm still a warrior. It might look like I'm fearful, but I'm still a warrior. And a warrior begins to knock tonight. Saying, where is uh, Hear me. The Bible calls these people wise men. Wise men. Who are the wise men? Are the people that could pick up a twinkle in the sky and hold on to that twinkle and say, this twinkle is not like other twinkles. This twinkle is different. Can you tell the difference between this twinkle and the other twinkle? Have you tried looking at the stars? Okay. Have you tried looking in the sky? Everything looks the same. Have you looked at the star and said, okay, this star, you turn around and come back, you don't know where that star is. Because all these guys look the same, but not for the wise men. Not for the what? The wise men. For the wise men, they know this twinkle is different. That little information in the spirit causes this wise men to abandon their town, their place of birth, their career, their wealth, their families, everything behind. And they start pursuing that twinkle. Think about it, people of God. They leave everything behind in search of that twinkle in the spirit. 
that you're able to look at this twinkling and saying, this is different, this is unique, this is, there is some nearness. I can smell something different. I must now pursue it at all cost. I must now pursue it at all cost. That's the question I have for you. How are you willing to pursue it? That twinkle that got our attention, the twinkle that got our eye, the twinkle that made eye contact with us, the twinkling in our spirit that says it doesn't matter. For this twinkle, I'm ready to live a lifetime of pursuit of this twinkle. It is true that, that there is an existence of that baby. But that baby will not come to you unless you go in search of it. Unless you search for it in the byways and the highways. Unless you go searching for it in the valleys and in the mountains. Unless you go search for it until you've come to that place and say, I'm not budging this place until I see that baby face to face. You are there. You are there right now. Church, listen to me. This is a prophetic word. There is a savior that was going to save an entire humanity. Yet, God could find only a handful of people that would locate a pulsating star in the sky and say, I'm going to leave my friends behind. I'm going to leave my entertainment behind. I'm going to leave my social media behind. I'm going to leave everything that I've known for decades now and just pursue this star. Until the mercy drops have now turned into showers of blessing. Think about it. Gideon is having an encounter of his lifetime, right? He's having an encounter. He's meeting an angel face to face. His papa didn't see an angel. His grandpapa didn't see an angel. His great grandpapa never saw an angel. Gideon is seeing an angel for the first time in his life. And the angel is coming and saying, ah, oh, mighty man of war. Instead of saying, ah, oh, I was having an identity crisis. Thank you, Lord, for affirming that I am a mighty man of war. No, 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 no. He didn't run after the angel to get an autograph from the angel. He wanted to know one thing. Where is the God of my fathers? want a generation to rise up responding to this word tonight that you are not satisfied with a little shaking, you are not satisfied with a little crying, you are not satisfied with a little manifestation I believe encounters will happen when an angel appears to your room I need some of you to tell that angel where is my Jesus Song of Solomon chapter 3 Verse 1, on my bed by night, I sought him whom my soul loves. Can you close your eyes and just listen to this? On my bed by night, the world is searching many other things, but you, but you, but you, you shall wake up in the night and as soon as you wake up your first thought is going to be Jesus the verse says I sought him whom my soul loves I sought him but found him not I will rise now and go about the city in the streets and in the squires I will seek him whom my soul loves my God I feel the glory increasing I will seek him whom my soul loves the watchmen found me as they went about in the city. 
Have you seen him who my soul loves? Ah. Uh, have you Have you met him? Have you experienced him? The one whom your soul loves. The lover of your soul. And the next line says when I found him whom my soul loves scarcely had I passed them who are the people that you have to pass by before you find the one that your soul loves I held him and would not let him go I held him and would not let him go i held him is anybody holding him now I would not let him go. Some of you are holding on to the wrong thing. It's time to hold on to Jesus. I'm going to give you an assignment that I want you to work on tomorrow morning. Okay? Will you do that? Are you with me or not? Okay. Matthew 2 verse 8. I want to read it for you. And he sent them. This is Herod, King Herod. Sent them and said, "Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word" that i too may come and worship him okay i told you how these people are asking the question where is he the search for the baby the search for what god has birthed okay now herod he's being a shrewd king he's being what very shrewd satan has been shrewd shrewd from the beginning from genesis You agree? Okay. So he's trying to deceive them. He wants to secretly locate the baby himself. But why does Satan want to locate the baby? So he can kill it. Are you getting what I'm saying? So he gives them a a deceptively he's trying to make them believe that he really wants to find the baby. So he's trying to deceive them by acting genuine. and he gives them three keys that we with the wisdom of god we are going to locate that and say but we won't use it for to kill the baby we are going to locate the baby using those three principles how many of you are understanding what i'm talking about he is using deception to kill it so he's he's acting sincere but as a king he knows this is the requirement to locate the baby so let's read that again with that understanding Number 1 he's saying search diligently search diligently key number 1 to find the baby in our case key number 1 to find the revival baby the birthing of what god is doing in your life you must search diligently that means you can't search once a week How many of you are understanding what I'm saying? You can't search once a week. Imagine you're searching for something that is a moving cloud. Ah. Did you hear that? If the cloud that you are searching for is a moving cloud, imagine by the time you come Sunday, the cloud has already traveled miles and miles ahead of you. That's the problem with our generation. We are not searching diligently. We are searching. 
oh 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 god forbid i accuse you of not searching no 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 you are searching but if you search once in a while you have no capacity to catch up because the star is constantly moving star you are following a moving star look at your neighbor and say my brother my sister whoever is sitting next to you tell them you are following a moving star a moving star requires a child of god that is constantly moving a moving star requires movement movement the spirit of god came upon jesus he was moving jesus the spirit that we seek is a moving spirit that means if you don't have movement you miss it so the way and the manner you pursue the things of god is when you diligently seek him meaning you have to be constantly seeking it you have to be constantly moving it you cannot take a break look at anybody and say you cannot take a break searching diligently requires you to not take a break how do you search for something that is lost if it is a moving if it is a living thing that you're searching for you have to diligently say that is why whenever there is a child that is lost the first 3 days they say the first 24 hours is the most critical every everybody will starts moving because you are searching for something that is moving if you do not locate it in the first 24 hours you lost the chances of finding it gets rare and rare and rare so some of them are sitting and thinking ah it's there till wednesday i'll go and search on wednesday no 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 not enough that you go search on wednesday you got to go search on sunday and monday some days you you don't feel like searching it some days you're bored but you drag yourself to the presence of god you're telling your flesh you are not in charge i am submitting my flesh under the spirit some days you want to jump and worship some days you're bored some days you're on fire some days you're not on fire some days you have a headache some days you don't but you tell your flesh i am in a pursuit of a moving star i cannot give myself a break in my pursuit everybody say this after me i cannot give a break in my pursuit of the moving star it has to be consistent and it has to be constant ah ah see the king the reason why he has a kingdom is because he knows his principles himself you want to get the king if you're searching for the king you can't search for him once in a while your search must be consistent and persistent everybody say it after me consistent and persistent somebody shout where is he this three words must disturb you today this three words must wake you up tonight i know some of you are getting ready to go to your work some of you are getting ready to go to your day today all day you must this must trouble you make a wallpaper make mix draw some picture stick it on your car if that's needed stick it on your fridge do whatever stir up lord where is your promises god where is your presence i want to see your face i want to see your glory somebody needs to begin to disturb heavens tonight this word must cause disturbance in heaven some of you need to wake up 2 o'clock in the night and start crying dada dada i want to see your face dada dada somebody shout jesus that's the key and the king knows it deceiving them he's trying to say oh yeah yeah i am a worshipper he's trying to act like he's one among them and he knows the key of how to be one among them he's saying you guys need to be diligent key number 2 are you ready for key number 2 yes okay when you have found him bring me the word bring me the 
word in other words he's saying you come and testify about him you need to have a testimony you need to have a what testimony your location of the child your location of that spark your location of what god is doing cannot remain silent if you are a disciple of the light the manner in which you will go forward is that you have a testimony in your mouth you have a word in your mouth you have a testimony of the lord's doing oh my goodness how many of you understanding key number 2 testify somebody shall testify key number 3 when you found him bring me the word that i too may come and worship him response number 3 when you find the baby is worship 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 you cannot encounter you cannot walk into this encounter without worship we cannot walk into this encounter without what worship that is why extended times of worship is so critical because that is telling i am not here for the preacher i'm not here for a, a performance i am here for the king of kings and the lord of lords are you understanding what i'm saying extended times of worship when you are not bored of worshiping jesus when you're not bored of worshiping the king of kings and the lord of lords is a sign that you are not there for an individual you are there for jesus so if you're not bored worshiping the king of kings clap your hands for 30 seconds and let's just love him in your house worship it Hello friends and partners of Revive Nations. Greetings to you from the revival here in Montreal. We have been seeing the Lord move in a mighty way. Many people have been having direct encounters with the Lord Jesus himself. We want to welcome you in person or you can sign up online at revivenations.tv. As you heard the word, God is looking for a generation that is running after the Lord. He will not reward a mediocre pursuit. There is a global revival breaking out and I believe that this is a season of fire and I pray that you and your household will catch that fire. Stay connected to us on line and we are looking forward to hearing your testimony till then stay connected to us on our online social media and we are looking forward to hearing your testimony until next time god bless shalom many of us love jesus by our words facebook posts and scripture quotes but when god wanted to show us how much he loved us he gave up his only begotten son He is not looking for part-time Christians nor a portion of surrender or a fraction of obedience. He is waiting for us to empty ourselves. He is not asking us for some things. He is asking us for everything. And Jesus is the only person who has the right to ask us for everything because he gave us everything. Thank you for being part of this end time Jesus journey. Your partnership with Revive Nations allows us to reach nations with passionate, prophetic and powerful word from the Lord. If you have been blessed, would you consider giving to this ministry by visiting revivenations.tv. Enjoy hundreds of resources in multiple languages from Prophet Shaiju and Tinny Matthew while visiting revivenations.org. Connect with us on your favorite social media. Distance is not a barrier to God. Revivenations.tv is now open to live participation to our services. Sign up on www.revivenations.tv to be notified.